another video on my channel so today I've got this gorgeous set of nails to show you beautiful flowers perfect for spring so if you want to see how it's done just keep watching so I want to quickly show you my base that I've got for the nails before I put anything on it I have used Magpie Gel Colour Black Betty one coat on all my nails and then I burnished Magpie Glitter Bluebell over the whole nail so next I then went in with the new Magpie Glitter Allison from the Rainbow Collection at the cuticle area and faded down and it created this really awesome effect. I love Bluebell on its own but with that slightly chunkier glitter fading down it's gorgeous. So the stamping plate I'm using today is the Dixie Plates Spring 01 which is a gorgeous floral spring layered stamping plate. And then I'm going to be using my Dixie Plate Stamper. This is their clear stamper. It is perfect for doing layered stamping because you can see exactly where you're placing the image. And my Born Pretty Scraper. So the stamping polishes I'm going to be using today are all from Hit The Bottle. This first one is Bubblegum Bliss. The next one is a Periwinkle Blue and it's called Blueberry Dewdrops. And this gorgeous mint green is called Peppermint Zombie. These three stamping polishes were sent to me from the lovely Sarah R here on YouTube and she also has a nail art store called Nail Stamping Queen UK. I'll leave all links in the description box below where you can get these polishes from. You can get them from her website. So thank you so much to Sarah for sending me those. And these are the two colours I'm going to be using out of the three that Sarah sent me in this tutorial. I'm also going to be using Hit The Bottle Snowed In which is a white stamping polish. So let's get into the tutorial. So I'm starting off with Blueberry Dew Drops and I'm using the bottom left image. This is a gorgeous flower image and it's two layers so you can see how well that picks up. And I'm placing this design on my middle and ring finger and also my thumb. And I'm doing it from the cuticle area down as if the flowers were falling down the nail. Following where I've put that Alison glitter fading down the nail. I wanted the flowers to fade down also. So as you can see the stamper picks up the images of the plate absolutely perfectly. They're super crisp. I would say the trick with layered stamping when you're doing your first image it's normally the fuller coverage image so you're using a lot more polish. I would scrape a lot lighter with your scraper and hold it at a lower angle. This is so that you're not scraping off all of that polish and then you're left with gaps in the image. So next I'm going in with Snowed In which is the white and I'm doing the outlines. When I do outlines I'm not too fussed whether they line up. For me personally I think that adds to the beauty of it as you can see there it didn't line up perfectly. So this time I lined it up almost perfectly so it looks beautiful either way. Just take your time in making sure that the image, the second image layers correctly with the bottom and you shouldn't have any problems. Of course when you're doing the outline the design is a lot finer so the stamping polish will dry a lot quicker. So you need to work faster because otherwise the image won't transfer onto the nail. So make sure you're working really nice and quick, getting that image down onto the nail. Another little trick, hold the stamper on slightly longer when you're doing finer detailed stamping. It helps to hold the image on the nail. So now I'm just repeating the process with Peppermint Zombie on the other two nails that I haven't done the blue flowers. So I'll be back with you in a second once I've done that. Make sure you clean off your plate between each stamp you do, that just creates a cleaner image and makes it pick up perfectly every time. So 
So that's all five nails done. I just need to clean up those nails a little bit where I've stamped in areas that I don't want it to be. So I've just taken a cotton bud and some acetone and I'm just cleaning up any areas where I've got unwanted design. Now I'm going in with a really fine dotting tool, just breaking through that stamping polish around the cuticle area. So when I go in with my top coat now, which is the Extreme Shine Top Coat from the Gel Butter Link, I'm not top coating it and it creates a nip and then your top coat will peel away from your nails. So you don't want that to happen. So make sure you go around that cuticle area separating that stamping polish. So I'm going in with two coats of top coat. This is a non-wipe top coat, so it doesn't have a tacky layer. So I'm just applying this to all five nails, curing in my lamp for 60 seconds. And that's the finished manicure. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to everyone for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Definitely check out Sarah R's YouTube channel. And I will also leave a link down below for Nail Stamping Queen UK where you can get the Hit the Bottle stamping and polishes that I used in this video. You can also get the Dixie Plates from Nail Stamping Queen UK and the lovely Kate from Dixie Plates has a YouTube channel also called Dixie Girl XOX where she posts loads of gorgeous nail designs using her stamping plates so go check that out it will also be linked down below. Again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!